In this video, we will demonstrate the satellite changes and reverse sync functions of IQ. First, let's click on Auto Contacts. Next, for the desired satellite, click None under Retrieve Logs to set up automatic contacts. I could use this report to look for changes that field personnel may be making at satellites. In addition to the log data retrieval at the end of irrigation, which usually happens in the morning, I can also add an afternoon time. For example, if I know my field personnel always leave the site by 4 p.m., I can add a 4 p.m. retrieve log time to look for any changes they may have made. Now click OK to continue. If you look at the system status, you'll see an icon that says Satellite Changes Since Sync. There's a number one, and the icon is colored, indicating there has been a change to the satellite since the last sync. If I click on that icon, you'll see that the Adeline's Farm Park controller has satellite changes that I need to review. If I click on that, and then I click on the Display Satellite Changes Since Sync button, it's going to show me the differences. One of the differences it's showing is that someone in the field changed the program adjust percentage, or the seasonal adjust, from 100% to 90%. I have the ability to do one of several things. I can ignore the change. IQ will overwrite this change if we don't do anything tonight at its normal automatic synchronized time. I could call the person and ask specifically what change they wanted to make and make a change based on how the conversation went or I could initiate a reverse sync and accept this program change. So let's do a reverse sync. First, we'll close these screens. Next, go to Manual Operations and click on the desired controller and click Connect. While it's connecting, let's talk briefly about the difference between synchronize and reverse synchronize. Synchronize takes changes you made in IQ software and pushes it down to the satellite controller. Reverse synchronize is just the opposite. Changes made at the controller will be pulled into IQ, and those changes will become the new IQ programming. Click Reverse Synchronization and choose any of the options here. Configuration, Programs, or Learn Flow. In this example, the program was changed, so I'll just click OK and then Yes to proceed. That's going to retrieve all of the programming and configuration from that controller and override what's currently in IQ. This is helpful when you first bring a satellite online that's had programming in the field, or if changes have been made in the field and you want those changes to override the IQ configuration. If you're using Weather Source ET adjusted programs, it will prevent you from retrieving program information from the satellite. Aside from that, you can perform any of these functions on Weather Source ET adjusted programs.